So this work started around about 2010 when we were in the field and we were working with beetles that could orientate at night using the moon. And when the moon went down, we looked at the Milky Way and thought, I wonder if the beetles can see that. And we published that work in 2013, showing that beetles can actually orientate by the Milky Way. And that was the first time that anyone had shown that insects can orientate by the stars. The obvious question that emerged from that was, could they cope with this sort of light pollution? Could they cope with an environment that is absolutely swamped with light? And so we couldn't resist it. We brought them into the city. We ran experiments on the same night, one in the middle of Johannesburg and the other in the middle of the bush. And we coordinated our timing so they had the same sky. And then we looked at their orientation behavior. Could they maintain a straight line in this type of environment? And the answer is pretty complex because the short answer is yes, if there are beacons like this that they can orientate to or from. But if there are no beacons available, the sky, the stars, are literally swamped by what's called sky glow. It's this upwelling light that's coming from all these lights around us. And that literally obliterates the stars from their vision and, our, and from our vision as well. This was important because lots of people have done research on insects coming to lights, going from lights. We know that moths are attracted to lights. But this was an orientation behavior that we knew so well that we could ask the beetle that question. Are you disturbed by this particular light? The loss of the sky to them is also a loss to us because 30% of the planet can no longer see the Milky Way. And that is part of our heritage as human beings. You know, 10,000 years we've been looking at the sky and building myths, building our culture around what we see in the sky, and it's no longer available to us. We've obliterated it with light pollution. But I think the best thing about this is that we can fix it. And we can fix it really easily by just switching off the lights. So we have to think about not being so profligate with this cheap, beautiful thing that we've created and switch off the lights.